We continue to follow breaking news now out of North Philadelphia. New video just into our newsroom shows this home engulfed in flames. Fire officials say flames eventually spread to several adjoining homes as well. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore is live in Franklinville for us this morning where it seems crews have now gotten this fire under control. So, Crystal, what's the latest here? Good morning. Well, more than three hours after firefighters got the initial call about flames here on the 1100 block of Rising Sun Avenue, they're still at the scene. The good news, as you said, the flames are now under control with the exception of some hot spots that firefighters are working on at this point. Let's get straight to video of those flames. We're told four buildings were involved in this fire, again, happening on the 1100 block of Rising Sun Avenue. Those addresses are 1144 between 1144 and 1150. Now we're told 1148 actually collapsed at some point during the fire fight. Now we're also told by a fire chief here at the scene that all four buildings are unoccupied. Still, 15 people have been temporarily displaced. These people that we're told have been displaced are residents who live a couple doors down from where this fire happened. They were removed just as a precaution. We spoke to those residents off camera. They tell me they're worried about smoke and water damage happening to their home. So we did speak with eyewitnesses. Here's what they had to say. My cousin called me and told me that our house was on fire. Just wanted to make sure all the kids and the babies, that everybody was safe. That's it. That's all I care about. The house is replaceable. Lives, you can't, once that's gone, that's it. And Jen, considering the magnitude of this fire, again, four buildings, the, the building collapse that happened, authorities telling me that the miracle here this morning is that no firefighters and no residents were injured. That's the very latest in Franklinville. Crystal Cranmore, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And a job well done by all those firefighters. Crystal, thanks so much.